is there a cheat code? Is there something that Sean Prez, if I was right now to go and jump into the studio, can I do something that is going to make my video, my song go viral? Or is does it really just come down to the work you put in? Because it's easy to look at uh, a Cardi B, seeing what she was doing on li- on- online before she blew. It's easy to look at a 6 9 and all of the success that he's had and so many of these other artists. Just as simple as I can put it, is there a cheat code? And if it is, I want to know. <laughs> Hey man, you already know the answer to that is no. Um, it's just, I hate the idea of that because it's it's so much more going on behind the scenes that people even than people realize. Like I've been a part of tracks. Like I had one track. All right, we worked last year, went number one Billboard six weeks over WAP and, and major songs like that. Then I had another track that should have went maybe not as high because he also didn't have the support, which is a part of it, right? Um, in terms of a, a, a label infrastructure, but it, it should have went very, very viral. It just went viral, right? But it should have went very viral, except for there's some things that happened with the artist that was featured on it. They shot a video, the video didn't, the, she didn't like the video the first time around. They had to reshoot the video, but the reshoot never happened and all that wild, all, they made all the marketing stop because they were hoping for this new video. And next thing you know, the moment passed and then TikTok, um, all that stuff happened with TikTok, you know, the potential ban. So then the money guy got scared of spending the money <laughs> at all. Next thing you know, six months passed, we missed the moment, right? Like there's just all these little things that people don't think about, not let alone relationships and, and things like that, that, that make it very hard, especially consistently. Anybody can get lucky and go viral once or get caught, you know, catch a quick little wave, but it takes systems and so many other things. Systems can apply to everything, relationships, to money, team, all those things um, are important. And if if it was just money for the people who say, oh, you just got to have money, I could tell you from two perspectives. Number one, look at the famous people who got a lot of money, who have kids, who want to rap, who want to sing, who want to do things. That ain't what you what you would think it would turn out to be. All right. First look at that. Right. And then from a technical standpoint, I can tell you I've had even the same artist. Maybe one song that you're running an ad to, and then another song that you're running an ad to, and completely different levels of responses, prices, and all that stuff. Just just one song. The content matters, right? The content does matter. Um, and last thing I'll say to that is for, you know, for also people say, well, what about those songs that they don't think are good? One, stop paying attention to other people. It's just too many factors in the world and people got different opinions and experiences. Maybe it's not your vibe as somebody else's, but two, it's, um, I say there's the trash can and then there's good music mountain. All right. And the only thing that matters is what's remarkable. Right. What's remarkable, what's worth remarking about, worth talking about. Right. If it's at the bottom of the trash can, you're not hearing about it. If it's at the bottom of Good Music Mountain, which means it's just good or it's okay, you're not hearing about it. But the stuff that's the worst stuff or whatever, but it's still worth, yo, did you see that or did you hear that? Oh, it's it's gone because it creates conversation, right? For whatever it, um, it is. And the best and the best music, those are the things that take off most organically and become the, the craziest moments, right? Like you can think from a Gangnam style, which is a good, bad song. Yep. It's good. Rebecca Black with this song Friday, which was horrible. It went viral for being uh, uh, horrible. Blue, blue face like two years ago, or maybe it was only, you know, like two years ago, he, his whole thing was offbeat. Like people, oh, this dude is offbeat. He's so offbeat, people thought it was funny. So they were like, yo, you got to go listen to this dude be offbeat. And next thing you know, you're there and you starting to like it. You trying to make other people realize, look at how offbeat y'all laughing. And next thing you know, you know, the track's running up, right? So it's always about what's remarkable, whether it's the top of the trash can or the top of good music mountain, you're probably, you know, so just because you have good music, that doesn't, it only means but so much. Okay. If, you know, because we, you have mentioned several different platforms in this conversation. Yeah. Is there one platform 
because there are so many. And everybody is not a brand man, Sean. Everybody doesn't understand systems. Everybody doesn't understand funnels. All they know is I know how to make a record and I just want to get this out there. So if you had to recommend, or maybe the answer is no, focus on all of these different platforms. But if you had to recommend a platform to focus on, we talked about Facebook, we talked about Instagram, we talked about TikTok, uh, you know, we talked about Spotify. Where does a young artist put their time and energy and effort if they're trying to break? And then one other question that I wanna add to that, is SoundCloud even relevant anymore if you're trying to get your music out there? So question number one, one platform, if I had to choose it without knowing anything about anybody, TikTok, again, because one, it's on that curve. You're creating all this. Um, they they want you to post. They want you to post more, and they're giving people a lot of attention. Now, that's going to change in not that long, right? Because um, they, they got a lot of attention already, and they have a lot of leverage already. But, I mean, to the point that you can beat the government. So that tells you a lot where you are. Uh, but, yeah, TikTok. TikTok, the organic attention, beautiful, right? You're, if you're an artist especially, the whole thing is for people to make dances or content to music, right? In any other place, you're advertising your music. TikTok, they're looking for music to create content. It's, it's, it's expected. So if anything, start there. You don't have to do something silly or all these things or play yourself. Even if you don't want to post a TikTok yourself, you can have your music on there and pace a few other people um, to post from there. So that's the way um, I look at that. Now, the general framework, you say being everywhere. I'm not about being every, everywhere for anybody. Um, it just, until you hit a certain threshold, right? People never pay attention to the process. People always pay attention to like where people are at that moment, whether the artist, a business person, whatever. Most people, I don't really, I can't name anybody who didn't, but pretty much everybody I, I, I know has focused in one place, excelled in that place, right? And then you start to spread. The people that we look at as successful, successful. Most diversification is a strategy for the rich, right? Whether it's rich in money, rich in talent and resources, but if you're diversifying this, this $1, so now I got $1 in 10 different places, if I double up anywhere, that $1 went from two. But if you're doubling down in the right places and that $10 is in all in one, one place, the right place, that 10 went to 20, or at least it's a spread between two, that five will go to 10, right? So you have to find the right platform, what makes sense for you, right? You have to pay attention to history and behavior. Like it doesn't make, even if it's the right, oh, this is my favorite platform, but nobody's there. Well, bro, you, you gotta be realistic. But at the same time, like find the thing that, that makes the most sense for you, focus there. Um, because most people don't even have time, honestly. If you're trying to have this conversation, so let me, listen. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to interject here because I want to make sure I'm understanding this. You're saying, look, you recommend TikTok, if I got that correct, because TikTok yeah. wants you on their platform and they are rewarding you for using it. You have to. But yeah. outside of that, find the one that works for you. So yeah, if, got to. if Instagram starts rewarding you and you start to see I'm getting all of this engagement from my fans, you say instead of taking that $10 and spreading it over 10 different places, let me, I'm seeing Instagram is where I'm getting the engagement. I put my stuff out there on 10 different platforms, but this one is reward me. Let me take all my money and go double up, triple up, and just go full steam ahead there. Is that is, am I understanding that correct? 100%. So yeah, like that's what I said. TikTok is only general advice without knowing anything about anybody, but you got to find your bag, right? What's working and double down, triple down from there because what the name of this game overall is momentum, right? And whenever you're putting effort and energy somewhere else, you're losing some momentum in that other space. Even if you feel like you're winning, you know, and you're like, oh yeah, I got this little hit. And that's what messes people up too, right? You hit this level. And I, I had that trouble in life, right? Where I was, I can get to a level fast, get to a level fast. But then when things slow down, right? You go find the next hit where you can go from one to one to 10 or one to 20 real fast. 
and you're addicted to that part of the game and seeing those quick flips. But that next level is just staying there and you got to 20. But what do I need to figure out to get to 30, 40, 50? And that's the people, the people who stay in that, right, that bag you know, that you see over, um, elevated on any level, right? They just stayed there. They stayed on those levels, committed and figured out what it was to get to that next level. And that's so that's what people do on platforms, business, it's, it's so many places. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.